Dan Rosenthal, Florida Wildlife Federation, and today we're going to look at some plants in a forested wetland. Now the dominant trees here are tupelo and bald cypress, but I want to focus on the understory plants because a lot of times we kind of just pass those by and don't look at them. Well, currently I'm standing in a colony of lizard's tail with a scientific name Sororus thernuus. And this is a really cool and abundant wetland plant. It grows over most of Florida and quite a bit of the northeast of uh, North America. And it's, it's got this beautiful flower, as you can see. It's, it's a spike. And then uh, you also have kind of an arrowhead-shaped leaf, generally. And then it's alternate on the leaf. But what's cool about it is it forms these large masses and it spreads by underground rhizomes. And so you get this big, beautiful plot of wildflowers. I can smell it, it's really cool looking. Um, interestingly, the leaves are eaten by uh, both beaver and turtles. And so it's a good wildlife plant from that standpoint. And uh, this is lizard's tail. Let me show you some other plants. Well, here I've got another plant that you'll find growing on the edge of these wetlands. And if you look down here, it's an understory plant and it's got leaves of free. Okay, yeah, this is poison ivy, but actually that's not leaves of free, it's leaflets of free. It's a compound leaf and you see how they're alternate too, not opposite, but it's a compound leaf with leaflets of free. That's poison ivy. Now, this is where it's like in the shrubby stage in the understory. But here, it, I've got one where it's a vine. And here it's growing up the tree and the leaves appear like they're from the tree. The tree has leaves way up higher, but not down here in this shade. And this is the poison ivy vine with its leaves. And up here, you can actually see the fruit of the poison ivy. Um, there were flowers there earlier. They're not real showy flowers, but yes, poison ivy has a flower and that's the fruit of it. A lot of wildlife, a lot of songbirds really like the fruit. It spreads it, of course. So I've moved over to another section of our wetland, and here I found a really favorite plant of mine, the royal fern. And here you've got this remnants of the fertile fronds, and these are the infertile fronds. Look at the size of these things. They are kind of royal. Big ferns, very beautiful. A lot of different kinds. They grow in amongst these lizard's tails. And just to let you know, I'm actually in a subdivision in Florida. And by preserving these spots, we not only provide some good wildlife habitat, and hopefully a place you'll spend some time, but also, as you can see, a lot of groundwater recharge is going on here, and the wetlands are really important for that. So, uh, until next time, I want to thank you for coming out and seeing me. Stan Rosenthal with the Florida Wildlife Federation.